Hello everyone and welcome to the Spider's tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will be learning different ways to execute your tests. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how to write our test and we executed our test as well. Now let's see the different ways. For that, what I will do is that let me copy this file and paste it over here and let me name it as example underscore second and click OK. And let me change the name over here, E1, 1, then this odd 1, odd 1, then 1. This, I'm just changing the names for the functions over here and this one. Okay. Now, what I will do is that if I go here to the terminal, if I type this fighters now see what happens so it will pick everything and here you see that we are getting some failures over here because we got a session failed because this session is getting failed okay so if i go with even and if i run this now let's see what happens okay so run fighters still this is failing uh, because of this particular test the first one and let's go with even and now run this one and see so this time you see that both files got picked from here and every function with the test keyword or the prefix got executed okay now here there are two files now suppose that you want to execute only one file for example i want to execute this test underscore example okay so how i will do this simply what i will do is that i will say by test and name or the path of the file okay so we are already inside this one this dot and it should be PyTest tutorial series. This is a folder, and inside that we have this test underscore sample. Now, if I run this one, it will only execute the three test cases and it will execute this particular file. Okay, so you see that this particular file got executed and it executed three tests. So that's how you can execute the particular files using the command line. Now, what if you want to run a specific test because here in this particular uh, you know file we have three tests right this one this one and this one and if you want to run a specific test from this file then how you can run this one so simply what you can do is that you will type py test okay and let me so you first you need to traverse to that file okay then you need to type colon colon and now you need to tell the name of the function you want to execute for example i want to execute this last function which is test underscore large large underscore even underscore number okay num simply press enter so you see that it collected one item and one test got passed okay so in this way you can actually execute the particular test so let me change this to odd so that we can see the assertion failure over here so you see that uh, this particular test got executed assertion error assertion failed and this is the only test which got executed okay so now what you can also do is that you can run your test with some keywords okay for example let's go here and i want to run the test with a keyword called even okay so i'll say by test dash k means using the keyword and the keyword for example i say even okay e1 now let's run this one so it will pick all the test cases having this particular 
keyword. So collected six item, two got deselected. Okay, now why these two got deselected? De because this particular function does not have the even word. Even same goes for here. So that's why from six, it only picked four and two got deselected and executed those particular tests having this particular keyword. Okay. And right now, if you need to have more information here in the here in the terminal, what you can do, you can simply say, let me run all the tests. So pytest dash v dash mean means verbose. And let's let me run the file. Let's run the single file. Okay, and here dash v and run this particular file so here now we are getting more information like the percentage of execution pass pass or fail so here we are seeing the complete details of the execution of the test functions right previously we were not getting this information over here okay so now we are getting more information over here okay and now let's fail this one and let me fail this one and see what information we get over here okay now run the same command and this time it's getting passed let's see what happened over here and okay so basically we are we have changed in this test example file we have to change this one because we are executing this particular file okay now let's run this one and you see that we got one fail and two pass assertion details okay this pass pass fails and this particular fail so when it's reached it got failed over there okay so using the verbose you will be getting the more details when you are executing your test now if you want to run the test cases which got failed in the previous execution so you can only execute those tests which got failed so how you can run this one simply you have to type by test and dash dash last failed okay and press enter so it only executed this particular test which got failed rerun the previous one failure right so it's run the last failure only okay now you can also stop after the first you know failure so there are multiple failures if you want to stop the execution if you want to stop this one so simply what you can do is that simply you say by test dash x and let me go here instead of v just type x and run this one okay so basically uh, you might not be seeing a much difference over here but it will make a difference when you are dealing with the multiple tests when you are multiple uh, you know files where you want to stop basically you want to stop the test run after the first failure so in that case you can go with this one okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial